The U.S. will continue to patrol the South China Sea as support for the Philippines and freedom of navigation. Davao, Philippines, the U.S. Navy will continue to patrol the disputed South China Sea. A top Navy official said on Monday after Chinese destroyers suddenly approached a U.S. Navy ship during freedom of navigation, sailing near a Chinese-occupied place, Coral. Admiral John Richardson, who heads the U.S. Navy operation, said at a press conference with Philippine military officials in Manila, quote, we will continue to develop this freedom of navigation operation program, Richardson said. We carry out dozens of operations around the world to show our position to illegitimate claims, maritime claims, even though Washington has no claims for strategic waters. It has stated that freedom of navigation and peaceful settlement of talks are in U.S. national interest. The U.S. also questioned China's broad claims taking it on a collision course with Beijing because of the country's close relations. A Chinese destroyer approached a cater as in late September in unsafe and unprofessional maneuvers near Gavin Reef in the South China Sea, forcing it to maneuver to prevent collisions. According to the U.S. Pacific Fleet, U.S. Pacific Fleet spokesman Lt. CMDR, Team Gorman, said Chinese destroyers were approaching 45 meters from the Decatur Arc. China said Luoyang, a Chinese missile destroyer, was deployed to identify U.S. warships near China. Gavin Maswell was discussed by China, the Philippines, Vietnam and Taiwan. Malaysia and Brunei also have discussions in the South China Sea. China's Foreign Minister Wang Yi, who was visiting the southern city of Davao in the Philippines, said in a separate press conference that some non-regional countries rummaged through problems in the waters that were talked about and have shown off their strength, Wang said China and Southeast Asian countries must be wary of foreign interference. China has repeatedly criticized what it said was U.S. interference in the talks in the Asian region. We will work together to be vigilant and prevent disturbances and disturbances coming from outside because China and the Philippines and other coastal countries in the South China Sea are working together to uphold peace and cooperation, Wang said. The Coast Guards of China and the Philippines have arranged telephone lines to allow them to communicate quickly to prevent something unwanted from control in the waters being discussed. Other arrangements that might be discussed for ships and aircraft, he said. This kind of mechanism can effectively avoid wrong judgment, prevent something unexpected, Wang said. China also intends to build a similar mechanism with other claiming countries so that it can improve communication and timely handle emergencies in the event that happens. Source, Military News. Thank you for watching and hearing the latest military news. Keep up to date with the latest military news on the Update Defense channel. Hope you enjoy it.